Hello everyone, this is another video from the online guide on a bot constructor and telegram menu builder bot. For those who haven't watched the previous videos, we strongly recommend to start over and watch. The link will be in the description. To find the menu builder in telegram, you can use global search. To do this, in the right upper corner, press corresponding icon and type menu builder bot. And we are starting. With this video, we open a whole series of materials describing the work with the admin panel of your bot. In order to get to admin's panel, click admin in the main menu of your bot created on the menu builder constructor. In the admin panel of your bot, the main control and settings buttons are located. This video will be dedicated to the mailing. Mailing allows you to send messages to all users of your bot. In order to prepare your message for mailing, click the mailing button. After going to the mailing preparation menu, you will see two messages. The first message is an informational and contains the following data. The number of monthly posts. The distribution of messages is quite demanding to the server resources. And therefore it has its own limitations. Each bot has 50,000 free messages per month. This means that you can send a message to 50,000 users per month for free. Each month this amount will be renewed. The date of renewal, which is the day of the month when this amount will be renewed, is also indicated in the message. In order to evenly distribute the load on the servers of menu builder, each bot is assigned with its own renewal date. If you are not enough 50,000 free messages a month, you can increase this number by adding additional messages. To purchase additional messages, go to your bot, admin, extensions, optimization. Here you can purchase the package of 100,000 additional messages. Additional messages you purchased begin to be used only when all free messages have already been depleted. Purchased but not used additional messages are saved and will be transferred to the next month. The remaining number of purchased additional mailing messages is indicated below. The second message that you will see when creating a mailing contains data and settings for the mailing itself. Conditions for mailing When working with a bot, there are cases when the mailing needs to be done not for all users, but only for a certain group. For example, for those whose balance is greater than zero or for those who have referrals. This is what these conditions are used for. Conditions for mailing are the same conditions that are used in the buttons. That is, if you have already purchased the conditions for the buttons, you can use them for mailing and vice versa. In order to activate the conditions, go to your bot, admin, extensions, buttons, conditions for buttons. Then you can return to the mailing and add the desired condition. The condition is added by pressing the corresponding button. We will tell you more about how to use the conditions in a separate video, when we talk about the extensions for commercial bots and conditions for the buttons. For now, let's continue about the mailing. The next setting you can use is after how many attempts user can be considered as dead. As you can see from the description of the setting, the user is dead when the message was not delivered to him specified number of times. Most likely such user has already blocked the bot and it will be impossible to deliver messages to him in the future. You can specify the desired amount from 1 to 5 times. If, for example, you select 3, then after 3 mailings, if no messages were delivered, attempts to send the messages to this user will no longer be made by your bot. This will save you mailing messages. In order to change the number of attempts, press the button of this function. The button sequentially in a circle will change the quantity. The current quantity is indicated both on the button itself and in the message. Next, you can proceed to create the message itself. Here you will have three options. For the next mailing, you can create a new message. 
The process of creating and formatting the message in the bot itself is already described in one of the videos dedicated to the post editor and creating messages. The link will be in the description and in recommendations. But if you need to create a message with a complex formatting, then it is better completely created in a separate channel and only then forward it to the bot. Still, formatting messages in a channel is simpler than directly inside the bot itself, since it allows you to directly edit created message and correct possible errors and typos. The second option. In addition to creating a new message, you can also use a ready-made, previously created and published message from your channel or group. You can simply forward one of your old messages and the bot will recreate it as a new one for distribution and the message will look as if you have just created by your hands. There is a third option to add message. This is an option in which your bot will save the link to the original message from your channel or a group. To do this, you can send it as forward from there while maintaining the link to the channel itself. In order for a bot to save the link to original message, there are separate button with a setting. As we can see, this option is now disabled. The status of the option is displayed on the button itself. That way you can create a new message, recreate an existing one, or send the message as forward, keeping the link to the source. Let's go through all the options one by one. To add a new message for distribution, click the Add Message button with the Send as Forward option disabled. After clicking, your bot switches to the message receiving mode. The next message sent to the bot will be saved as a message for distribution. As you remember, the function of saving the link to the source is disabled, so the bot will in any case create a new message as a new one. In this mode, we can either forward the message we need from a channel or a group, or enter it by hand. The result will be the same. Let's send a message from our news channel as an example. To do this, exit the bot and find the channel through the search by typing Menu Builder News. Select the desired message and send it to the bot. Then we return to our bot. As we can see, the bot accepted the message, however the link to the news channel itself was not saved and the message is shown as a new one and just created. Since this message is now new, the next step in preparing the mailing will allow us to determine whether the bot should show a preview of the links in the message we sent. The current preview setting is indicated on the button itself. Details about the link preview modes are described in the video dedicated to the post editor. The link will be in the recommendations and description. Preview modes are switched in this menu. The status of the preview settings is indicated on the button itself. Furthermore, you can add inline buttons to the message you sent, but the mechanism of adding inline buttons in the bot itself will change. At the same time, it is not decided whether it is remain the same in the mailing itself or not. For this reason, we will not pay much attention to the very mechanics of adding inline buttons to the message, since the process of which will subsequently be devoted to the separate video. Working with inline buttons in this current form is described in a corresponding manual. The link will be in the description. After everything you need is configured, you can click Save Message. The bot will offer us to complete the preparation, however it will inform us that there is a possibility of sending several messages simultaneously. Since this option is not yet activated in this bot, we will not be able to use it. Let's connect this function to see how it works. Click Cancel to stop creating this mailing and go to the address specified in the message to enable the function of sending several messages at the same time. Go to Admin Extensions Optimization.
After purchasing this feature, you will return to the mailing itself. Let's recreate a new message. This time, just enter it manually. Click Add Message and paste some text from the clipboard. The bot have accepted it. Since this is a new message, like last time, the bot will offer us to set the preview mode as well as an inline buttons. We will not do this, so let's click Save Message button. As we see now, the bot not only offer us to complete the preparation, but also add a second message. Let's do it. This time we will demonstrate the third option of adding a message, where we will save the link to the source channel or a group. In order for the bot to save the link to the original message in your channel, switch Send as Forward setting. The current state of the setting is indicated on the button itself. We remind you that if Send as Forward is turned off, then regardless of whether you create a new message or forwarded the old one from the channel, the bot will create it again, as if you have just created it from the scratch. Switch the forwarding setting to on position and click add message to add the message. Let's go back to our news channel and send a message from there. Exit the bot and search for the channel, menu, builder, news. Select the message we need and send it directly to the bot. Then return to the bot again. Your message will already be added. We forwarded this message from the channel and preserved the link to the original post. The message in this mode are sent as is and cannot be changed in any way. For this reason, bot will not offer us to set a preview or add any inline buttons. We immediately jump into the mode of completion of preparation. Click complete the preparation. After the preparation is completed, the bot will offer us to check whether everything is ok with the messages you have added and confirm sending by pressing the send button. After clicking the send button, the mailing will be started. Started but not finished mailing can be stopped. For this, completely exit the admin panel and go there again. If the mailing is still ongoing, then the button you use to create the mailing will allow you to stop it. Stopping the mailing may take some time. As the mailing progressing, the bot will send the progress reports. Those reports will be received after every 2000 messages sent. The message about the beginning and the mailing has an explanation of the items which are presented in this report. The progress and completion reports will indicate First, the actual number of messages sent. Second, the number of errors in the mailing. This is the number of messages that could not be delivered or sent for some technical reasons. Various timeouts, tempo bans and more. Those errors in most cases are not related to the bot itself, but more often are the result of various technical limitations of the Telegram system itself, like anti-spam and so on. Further description of possible variants doesn't make much sense. Third, blocked users. Those are the users who blocked your bot since the previous mailing. This is the correct technical definition. In everyday life, those are users who deleted your bot, if you like it this way. Fourth, limited by advertisement market. If an advertisement market is activated in your bot, then some users may already have received messages today and for this reason they have exhausted their number of possible messages per day allowed by the advertisement market settings. It will indicate the number of users to whom the message was not sent for this reason. For those who don't know, advertisement market is a way for you to make money in your bot by receiving advertisement. Feature can be activated by you if your bot meets certain requirements. Just one thing we like to stress in this regard. Menu Builder have never forced and will never be forcing any advertisements in your bot. Participation in this program is totally voluntarily and can be activated only manually and only by you if your bot meets certain requirements. Even more, the privilege to make money this way can be revoked if you don't comply with the rules of this program. Fifth, condition fails. If you added the condition to the mailing, 
then the number of people for whom this condition was not fulfilled will be indicated here. If you did not add conditions, then there will always be zero. This means that messages were delivered to everyone. After the end of the mailing, the bot will receive a notification. If the mailing was interrupted for any reason, it can be resumed. If renewal is possible, you will receive an offer to resume the previous interrupted mailing the next time you try to enter the mailing. We're gonna finish explanation of mailing at this point. Watch the following videos. The address of menu builder, constructor and telegram is already on your screen. If you like to know about updates on the channel, press subscribe. If you like to be informed about every new video, press notify.